Your new AC repair technician might be training with state-of-the-art technology. A Valley school is meeting a massive job demand with virtual reality training. Steve Nielsen has more from Phoenix. Industry experts say right now there are tens of thousands of HVAC jobs, welding jobs that need to be filled. So how do you go about doing that? Sometimes you gotta get a little creative. I'm using TIG to do my roots. Corey Perry is welding virtually. It's this more of this hand motion that I'm doing. She's one of the many students at Refrigeration School in Phoenix, but she's in the first class of students to be given Oculus virtual reality equipment to take home. The more you do it, the more you kind of gain mu that muscle memory. It's not replacing anything. It's really just enhancing what they already came to get. David Akers says in the midst of trade worker shortages, giving new tools to tomorrow's welders and HVAC technicians can only help. And allows the students to obviously be able to take what they learn in class and extend it at home and it just gives them more time to practice, more time to really get to know what the curriculum is going to provide them to really get out in the field and then get some great careers. Looking at this main screen right here, we have 19 different lessons. We go with The designer of OcuWeld, Alex DeClaire, told us how Corey was using it. So she's actually going to grab a piece of TIG wire and hold it in one hand, and the other torch, she's, in the other hand, she's going to grab her TIG welding torch, and she's going to weld the pipe. So here she goes. She's virtually welding two pipes together, and then she turned virtual reality into reality and practiced on the real thing. Um, I do use this to my advantage, though. If I'm struggling with something in class, I take it home. I, you know, I practice it, come back into class, and kind of do the same thing over again. You know, welding is all muscle memory, and that's what this simulator does. Is it I mean, if you look at her right now, she has her hands up, she has her elbows up, she's standing still. She's she's gaining that muscle memory as she's going through the simulator right now. Okay. Wow. Look at all this. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Yeah. Fox 10 got a chance. So I'm just going to go top down. Top down, stay inside the seam. But we're not ready for the real thing. For someone that's maybe nervous getting into welding or using power tools, right, they get to do this ahead of time, and then when they go over to the lab, it's a little more familiar to them and not so scary. Every quarter here, they have an open house where you can come in and get the hands-on experience, see if this is all right for you. You can find out more details about that on our website, fox10phoenix.com. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.